Let it not be said, let it not be said that the Schleg Daddy gets so caught up in his personal biases that no matter what, he'll never give somebody credit, never give them the benefit of the doubt, and or never defend them when it's right to do so. I always believe in this fundamental principle. I will always do what I feel is right. It may not feel right to anybody else, and frankly, I don't care. Too many years on this world, too much crap to deal with, to give a crap about whether or not you agree with what I do, especially when I feel it is right. I have to say, though, it's a bizarre world. And, and it is. Because I can't believe I'm going to do this. Because Dave Meltzer, as we know, is a frequent target of mine in a variety of ways, in a variety of areas, and frankly, merited and deserved. Now, sometimes for him, that comes naturally because he's such a big name and presence in the world of professional wrestling, whether anybody wants to give him credit for that or not. You cannot deny what is true, what is flat out fact. But here and now, I have to come to the defense of Dave Meltzer. Because this crap is getting out of hand. This crap is completely and totally ridiculous. And this crap is the personification, the epitomization of the pussification of our society. Now look, a lot of times you'll see people complaining about how the world's gotten soft and we're full of pussies now and it's all about SJWs and feminazis and all this crap. And the reality is, is sometimes the people that are saying that are just frankly butthurt and pissed off that they can't be racist and or sexist and just flat out get away with it anymore. That's the reality, sometimes. But then on the flip side, sometimes they are completely right. And when you look at this whole situation, which what unfolded this week with Dave Meltzer's comments about Peyton Royce and the response and the backlash from a bunch of morons, both fans and, of course, especially the wrestlers themselves. It's not hard to understand why people would get frustrated by what they perceive as a pussification and an over-political correctness in this world. Because this, this right here, is a perfect example of this. Dave Meltzer, Brian Alvarez, are talking this past week. And they're talking about Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. And Dave Meltzer gives some opinions about him. You know, opinions. Those things that are like assholes, like Mr. Rott used to say. Everyone has one, and they usually all smell like shit. But he had an opinion. God forbid in this day and age that anybody have a freaking opinion. It's only okay to have an opinion as long as it agrees with yours. Which is crazy because so many of you worship the cocks of so many other wrestling people who will block you if you happen to disagree with them. I do not. I encourage difference. I applaud difference. I welcome difference. Diversity in a variety of ways, up to and including thoughts and opinions. It doesn't mean we can't disagree. It doesn't mean we can't be mad at each other from time to time. But what a bunch of pussy bullshit to sit there and be like, oh my god, they called me on something. Oh my god, they disagreed with me. Block, 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 you bitch. That's what that is, bitch shit, that bitches do. But Meltzer alludes to the fact that he doesn't find Peyton Royce as attractive because she used to be lighter. Now, of course, in this body-conscious society that we have today, everybody instantly, automatically starts talking about Dave Meltzer as fat-shaming, fat-shaming, fat-shaming. Like, first of all, what the fuck is the problem with being fat? Believe me, there are 250, 300 pound women that are every bit if not more attractive than 100 or 120 pound women, and that's for damn sure, and I know I'm not the only one that agrees with that. Furthermore, who gives a shit deep down? Who fundamentally gives a shit if people don't like your weight or your looks or any damn thing else? I sat there, had my nervous ticks, my eye twitches for almost 30 damn years. 
If I sat there and worried about what people said about something that I can't fucking control, mind you, where you can at least have some control over your weight. If I sat there and worried about that, I'd have put a bullet through my fucking brains 10, 15, 20 damn years ago. Sorry to deprive some of you of that great pleasure that you would surely love to see, but ah, ain't happening. If you're skinny and you're happy, embrace it. Who gives a crap? Don't sit there and go out looking for affirmation and reassurance that you're beautiful. Believe it and you'll be it. Believe it enough and eventually other people will too. I promise you that. If you were 300 pounds and you were happy and content, believe me, there's a whole different subset of freaky fuckers that can get down with that and love that just as well. But if you believe it and you feel it and you love yourself for it, Eventually, either the people that don't are going to kick fucking rocks and or you're going to have people that love it anyways. Stop looking for affirmation. Stop looking for reassurance. If you don't have confidence in yourself, figure out a way to get it and get the fuck over yourself. And this is coming from somebody that has battled lack of self-esteem over the years, battled bouts of depression over the years. Eventually, you figure out a way to nut up, man up or woman up, depending upon your perspective, and get the fuck over yourself and figure out ways to be happy with who the fuck you are. But this whole thing about Dave Meltzer and what he said, so many people are alluding to the weight thing. And there's this whole fucking thing. What the fuck would have happened if anyone sat there and said, oh, I think she's too skinny. I wish she would put on 15 or 20 damn pounds. How much you want to bet there would be nowhere near as much outrage? Nowhere near as much outrage. He would still technically be shaming somebody. But because we're automatically thinking, because this is a woman and he's talking about her weight, and he's alluding to the fact that she's too big, that automatically means he's fat shaming her. What a bunch of crap. Never mind the fact that he was alluding to him and Alvarez both, that they still thought she was attractive. What these fucking idiots, like Joey Numbers pointed out so beautifully, who the fuck is Seth Rollins to sit there and talk any shit about Dave Meltzer when he was literally banging a fucking flag-waving Nazi? A lesbian flag-waving Nazi at that. How the fuck do you reconcile that? Who knows this world is full of hypocrisy any fucking ways. Like, who the fuck is Seth Rollins and so many of these other fucking idiots? To the idiots that sit there and talk about, well, men do far less. And when we talk shit about guys, whether it's me shitting on Dean Ambrose for not washing his ass, Baron Corbin for his fucking receding hairline, Dean Ambrose for his receding hairline, all these other guys, Kevin Owens, fat boy, and everything else. It's funny how there's not nearly the outrage when we sit there and basically fat shame guys. That's okay. It's accepted because of this pussification, this man-shaming, mansplaining society that we live in today. But beyond all of this, the sheer stupidity of all this comes in that Dave Meltzer wasn't talking about the weight of her body. He was talking about the weight of her tits. Basically what he said, while the wording, and this is the danger sometimes, when you try to kind of say something but not really say something, it leaves things open for interpretation and could create even more issues. Dave Meltzer basically said in guy code, and newsflash bitches, that was guy code. This is the type of shit we would say. He liked her when he, she was lighter. Well, what happened between NXT and the main roster? Oh, she found her Stephanie McMahon. She went and got some fake fun bags. That's what the fuck he was talking about, you stupid idiots. So we're now in a place where Dave Meltzer, a man, sits there and says that he found a woman more attractive without fake tits as her real person. And we're shaming the guy. We're shitting on the guy. We're blasting on the guy. Because he dared imply that he didn't like her as much with fake boobs. He liked the real deal. What the fuck is wrong with this society today? Any of you dudes out there that are sitting there crapping on Meltzer, number one, what the hell is wrong with you? Number two, also see number one, what the hell is wrong with you? Number three, how stupid can you freaking be to not understand what he was speaking about? And number four... Acting like a feminist, he's not going to get your pussy. You got that? And for the women that are getting all butthurt, bent out of shape, 
especially all these women in the freaking industry, up to and including Peyton Royce herself. Clearly, the optics of how you look mattered enough to the point where you wanted to go under the knife and get fake fucking fun bags. If you don't want people talking about your looks, don't get fake fun bags. How about that? If you don't want men or other people judging you for how you look, then wear full body shit like you're in the freaking uh, Middle East or some shit. Then they won't have to talk about it. And they'll truly measure you based off of how you perform. And don't give me that sanctimonious bullshit, ladies, about how you sit there and watch wrestling and you just love the action. Bullshit! How many of you fuckheads want to sit there and grab Roman Reigns' hair as he spears you with his Samoan SWAT stick? Oh my god, his hair. Oh my god, his muscles. Oh, when he puts a baby oil on. How many of you fucking love Randy Orton and want to bang him and he's a fucking dickhead? John Cena with his mini George Johnson. How many of you sat there grew up and some of your earliest experiences on the old rum machine came from thinking about people like Hunter, oh yes, The Undertaker, and so forth. Looks matter every bit as much to women as they do to men. How many women sit there and talk about their guys' endowment, their size, and so many other different fucking things? Oh, he's got a bit of a belly. Even though, bitch, you got double D tits and a triple A ass, looks like it's concave into your fucking hips and pelvis. Even though you got a fucking bulge and you got no damn reason to have a bulge that we eventually allude to as a front butt. Especially sad when the front butt is bigger than the back butt. We're literally getting bent out of shape and pissed off because a guy dared imply that he found a woman more attractive before plastic surgery. In this era where we're supposed to accept people for who they are and embrace their strengths. And also embrace their flaws and their shortcomings and their differences. Here's Dave Meltzer. Whether it's his intention or not, I don't give a shit. It was what it was. And frankly, the mistake that he made, the only mistake that he made, was he wasn't direct enough. He should have flat out said, I don't like her as much with the fake fun bags. Then it leaves nothing up to interpretation. And then what are you going to do, shit on him? Oh, she chose to get him. Well, he's saying he had a preference. Oh my God, in this world, can you imagine? People have different tastes, different preferences, different likes and dislikes. Oh my God, it's freaking crazy. But this shit's gotten out of hand. I'm with Meltzer on this one. A woman shouldn't have to feel like they gotta have fake fun bags in order to be attractive. I don't even fucks with white women like that. And I'm looking at Peyton Royce, I'm like, why did she need work? She seemed okay to me. And if anything... It raises the specter to me of just how superficial they are. And if they're really about shit and if there's much substance behind the style. And I understand the business that they're in and the environment that they're in can be very friendly to those type of cosmetic procedures. And I can understand completely and totally the idea that you either need to cap up, keep up, step up, or get pushed aside. But she just didn't have to do it. Just like all of you Freaking feminazis and man pusses didn't need to sit there and blast melts on this one. If you can't understand that the reference to lighter was about her tits, then you're a moron. And you're going to sit there and yell at a dude because he said he liked a bitch better before plastic surgery, then maybe you need to take a deep hard look in the mirror and say, what the fuck is wrong with you?